hi guys um, welcome to my channel uh, this video is gonna be about uh, the orchid tag that um, Todd from Tr Todd's tropicals tagged me it's about uh, plants I can't or maybe in some cases won't grow uh, or, or can't keep alive so anyway um, I'm gonna start with one that's really died on me and um, yeah in fact I still have it here this one um, it was growing very nicely see how tall it is um, for six or seven months this is my dendrobium Victoria Regine it's mostly um, the one that um, really hard to um, take care of are the cool growing because I'm in a warmer climate and and the seedlings so anyway as you can see it was growing fine for six or seven months and I don't know what happened to it I don't know if I miss uh, watering um, because it likes to be moist and then maybe the temperature uh, went up inside um, so the leaves slowly turning brown one by one but as but there was um, there's new growth there so I thought it's gonna be fine and I even repotted it again and it still never recovered until the new growth also died so that's my uh, dendrobium victoria regine it's supposed to be a almost blue color uh, dendrobium that's um i think they grow in philippines but yeah so anyway um this one here is my um encyclia citrina that um, i'm trying to grow from a seedling so i don't know i don't know uh, what's gonna happen with here um at first um i don't know how to uh, deal with being it's in a terrarium I will close the the top of it with a ziplock so it got more humidity and it started to sweat and I think a few of the old leaves um, browned up so I started experimenting and finally I decided to just open it halfway and water it once or twice a day so I don't know what's going to happen to it after the long run but these are the new growth that one in the back and this this so yeah so that's what's going on with my um rare and hard to care encyclia citrina that's uh, origin from mexico and this one right here is my habanaria it's also a seedling actually um at the nursery uh, vendor um, talked me into it and uh, so I said okay I'll try so I think it, I miss uh, watering too because it needs moisture being it's still a seedling and then now if I water it looks like it got too much water so I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen to it so yeah um, but um, yeah if I um, if they don't do well i mean for now this is it for me i'm not gonna get another until i know you know how to take care of it so this one is from uh Equigenera, i believe so bolivia so they're they're from a, a cool growing uh environment in in ecuador and that one too it's not very common uh, I don't know if you can see the name and then that that one is let's see it's got new growth but I don't know how long it's gonna alive hold on let me uh turn around the camera let's see so yeah it's a uh, pragmipedium that's my frog uh, Boltii something anyway that's what's going on there's new growth but sometimes I see 
uh, old leaf that's getting wet or uh, too wet so I ease up from watering uh, this another seedling here that there's three of them now there's one left so yeah we'll see how it's gonna if it's gonna survive and this one's got new growth but I don't know either how long it's gonna be it's also a frag will be sleeper so yeah um, they're here inside because it's cool growing this one is my masdevillia and it's putting out new growth but yeah I have to water them every day and let me see this one oh this one is masdevillia and I think this one is the dracula okay yeah yeah and um my um miltonopsis is there alive but uh see it's downstairs too but they're just there it taking much of my time watering them keeping them moist so i might uh, just stop for you know see how they're doing and if they do well i'll get some more if not yeah that's it for me and i'm gonna show you my symbidium and my zygo this one right here is my only zygo petalum um, i got it when i first got it it's very healthy it's got that big suitable that's now dark anyway um they said not to wet the leaves and it will cause black spots in the leaves but this new growth they've been wet and no black spots came and as you can see there's new growth there but I still don't understand this part I mean this uh, zygo um, I repotted it um, the first time uh, I think early spring and it took hours and hours for me to clean the roots it's very fragile it's like spaghetti um, and then something happened to the leaf because I end up for the first time spraying malathion to all my orchids so yeah I don't think it like that so I don't know what's gonna happen to it so but this is my zygo um, until I know how to take care of it with this one here I don't think I'm gonna get another zygo petal on so that's my zygo so this is where I put my symbidiums this area right here is all my symbidiums um, I have, have a few that I got last year and there's on there's even like three of them that from a nursery that hasn't bloomed in the nursery either so I don't know if it's gonna bloom for me um, it's gonna be sitting here even on winter just outside so that that's good I don't have to keep taking them in in indoors while it's winter or or uh, freezing so that way it's we only have mild uh, cold here so it will stay outdoors so I don't have to worry about them um, yeah this one because they have long leaves um, there's a few that I repotted how many times because it fell over it's so frustrating the wind took strong wind will blow it and it fell over so um i end up good thing i have a pot that i found that's really heavy this one there it's got designs i love it it's like a gardener's spot um yeah that one is so heavy because of their long leaf they easily fell over when the winds uh, strong winds come so now um yeah they're steady but it was frustrating to repot them how many times and you have more um, plants to repot that needed repotting so yeah and the one here is my uh, two of my dendrobium speciosum that's still alive so <laughs> i don't know if it's gonna flower for me so yeah so those are the plants that's sitting there i don't know what's gonna happen
if it's gonna bloom so I'm not gonna add any more uh, cymbidiums for now until they, they, they until I know that they grow well for me and they bloom for me yeah. so that's my cymbidium so this is it for my uh, orchid tag uh, I believe I have to tag I don't know two to three people so I'm gonna tag Sharon short if you're still not uh, if you haven't done the orchid tag yet I don't know and um, Jesty from um, attainable green if you haven't done it yet uh, you know and John Benedict um, but if you don't feel like doing it guys um, it's okay you don't have to um, it's not gonna hurt my feelings and I still love you guys but I'm just putting out there in case you want to do it so this is it for my orchid tag and thank you guys for watching bye now